Hello guys, welcome back to Talent Battle and today we are here with one new opportunity. This is an internship opportunity of software engineering. Yes, you heard right. So the role is software engineer and the company name is Rubrik. So in this video, we will check out what is this opportunity all about and what is this company offering to you and what is the eligibility criteria. Also, we will share with you live registration process. So please watch the video till the end so that you do not miss any kind of important update and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you keep on getting all the company updates, all the hiring updates in the later future. And this opportunity I should mention is for 2025 batch. Yes, so if you are in your last year of your BTEC, so you can easily apply for this particular internship. And this is a winter intern role, as you can see on my screen. The office is in Bangalore, so it is a work from office job. Let's read out about the job summary, okay. We are looking for a software engineer intern to join our team. Interest to, uh, we believe in giving engineers responsibility, not tasks. Yes, our goal is to motivate, challenge people to do their best work. So basically the responsibilities will be to design and develop the test, uh, design, develop, test, deploy, maintain, and improve the software, manage individual projects, priorities, deadlines, and deliverables, identify and solve uh, what next with our software stack. So if you have a good hand with the software uh, like technologies and you have a good hand with the coding skills, you can easily take part in this internship. So about the role, this is a rubric software engineer intern role. Our self-starters driven and can manage themselves. Bottom line, if you have a limitless drive and like to win, we want to, uh, we want to talk to you. Come make history. So this is eligibility, any bachelor's or master's degree or equivalent in computer science field. So only CSC, IT stream can apply for this particular job. And you must be from your bachelor's last year or from the master's. Proficiency in one or more uh, general purpose programming languages like Java, C, C++, Scala or Python. So these are the languages which they particularly want. Minimum CGPA is eight and above. This is from your BTEC only. So they are not asking any CGPA from class 10th or class 12th right now. Next 2025 graduates of crucial branches, uh, circuital branches can apply. Like you can be from CSC or IT. Available from January 25 to, to May 2025. So you must be available for them from Jan 25 to May 25. In Bangalore for on-site internship, this is not a remote option. Okay. So as I have explained to you earlier also, this is a purely work from office job. You have to go to the office. You have to visit the location that is in Bangalore. And you must be available from Jan 2025 to May 2025 for this particular internship. If you if you clearly and successfully participate in this uh, uh, internship and you take a good part in this internship, you've done a very good job, they can also convert this type of internship offers to the full-time roles also. And always uh, remember one thing, all the internships, whether they are paid internships or unpaid internships, they carry a major role and they carry an added advantage to your resume. You get a very good full-time role with the higher package that you expect if you have internships or good projects in your hand. So this is all about their company. You can read it. The link is in the description box as usual. You can just click on the link and jump into this. But now let's jump into how to apply for this job. So very basic form is here. The form is mentioned here only. You have to put your first name, then you have to put your last name, your email. Email addresses should be correct. We have found the students, those who uh, by mistake fill their uh, incorrect email IDs, they usually do not get any further communication from the off-campus companies. In off-campus companies, you must put all the details very nicely. So put your correct email, check it twice and similar with the phone number. Then you have to attach your CV and how to make a CV. That is there in our masterclass preparation batch where we have shared a complete process on how to develop a CV that can push yourself into the off-campus drives with higher packages. Okay, so do watch that video. The link for that is also in the description box. Next, you have to fill your university name, your LinkedIn profile. Here you can just give your LinkedIn ID. Okay, uh, you can just copy paste the direct link from your LinkedIn profile. Next, any past internship, if you have done, you can fill yes or no and give some details on that. You have to fill your CGPA. CGPA must be 8 or greater than 8. 
next you have to put your code chef rating okay or code forces rating so if you have participated on these platforms and you are doing regular coding so you can put these ratings there next will you be available to take up an on-site internship in the month of jan 25 to may 25 so here you have to fill yes because if you are interested then only you are filling this form next is the location so you have to look uh, put your location where you are residing right now so you here you can put your college location or your home location as you wish okay or you can just click here on locate me this option will always uh, locate you by checking your location of the device and lastly you have to click on the submit as soon as you click on the submit button you will get an email notification like you have successfully registered for this particular drive and if your resume gets shortlisted you are lucky and you will get all the future updates from this company so this was all in this video this is a very basic form but this internship is very important for those students those who do not carry any major projects because internships can be uh, a good help when you are applying for the full-time roles okay so here we have a contact us option also and other options you can just scroll down and you can if you want you can just visit to their website because getting no getting to know about your company whichever you are applying is a very good thing because in the interviews they can ask you about their own company as well like why you are applying to rubric okay so once again uh, best of luck from talent battle team and if you have any doubts or any confusions or if you are preparing for your on campus or off campus drives and you want to prepare with the strategy that talent battle students are preparing for and winning the high packages you can always comment down below or reach out to us on our social media handles. Our mentor will be happy to help you out. We are also sharing our calling numbers. You can call us anytime and our mentors will be available to call, uh, talk to you related to your placement preparation. And this would be a very, uh, this would be a free of cost call. Okay. That's all in this video. Thank you once again. Have a nice day.